The video that you're about to watch is a breakdown of a breakdown of a Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer that premiered last August. No, two Augusts ago. Two years ago. And it's done by Woody's Gamer Tag, and it clocked in around 20 minutes. And I just found this bad boy a couple weeks ago, and it's downright laughable. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm psyched! The Black Ops multiplayer trailer is finally out, the big one. And this is my attempt to break it down better than anybody else, which is always the goal we shoot for. Let's get this cooking. Every single time he does a freeze frame, the color correction changes. Alright, first thing we got here, character running with the M8A1 Select Fire Rifle. So check out this Select Fire thing, it's something that I don't think I've seen before in Call of Duty. Hold on, let's watch. Alright, the select fire thing caught my attention. Typically in gun circles, if a gun is fully auto or auto, you pull the trigger, bullets spray out. Simple as that. Hold it down until the clip empties. Semi-auto means you pull the trigger and one bullet comes out. That's what semi-auto is. And then there's burst. Burst is somewhere in the middle. You pull the trigger in like two or three, usually three in Call of Duty. Bullets just shoot out the end. Because they're calling this select fire, it makes me wonder if it's going to have both full auto and burst mode and semi-auto modes like a normal select fire rifle would in real life. It's dangerous to apply real life stuff to a video game, but that's what I'm wondering. And then if you look in the bottom right over the number 100, you can see that it's in burst mode as they record this. You know, I really wish he was right here. All of the weapons having either semi-auto, burst fire, or automatic fire um, would have been really nice, especially the assault rifles. But it's Call of Duty. What can you do? Next thing I want to do is look at his class loadout on the left. You see he has a rifle, he has a pistol, he's got a lot of stuff here. He has a throwing knife, he Wrong. has what looks to be a frag grenade, Wrong. he has a shock charge, he has three perks, and that blue thing under the rifle, which I'm going to guess is an attachment or a proficiency. Probably an attachment. Hmm. Altogether, Maybe it's select fire. He has 10 things, which sort of works together with the rumors we've been hearing that you get 10 things, put your class together almost any way you want. Um, I'm counting it to be 10 because if you look next to the shock charge, the bottom right thing that he has equipped, it is a little smaller shock charge next to it. I'm assuming that means that you know one of his 10 things is a second shock charge. You don't know what a shock charge is, do you? Let's watch. Fuck shock charges. So this is a shock charge, and in a second, you're going to see what happens to that player in the bottom center of your frame when it lands near him. But look at the thing. It's like a stun grenade with a knife attached to it. They don't reveal what happens in this trailer if the shock charge hits the player directly. That knife has me really curious. It has me wondering. It like, does if it hits that guy directly, Is it going to be like a throwing knife? I can't say for sure because there's tomahawks in this game and it'd be weird to have shock charges in there when you could have tomahawks unless the tomahawks are just outstanding and how they bounce off things and get you kills that shock charges don't. I don't know. But that knife on there has I been don't know. curious. What happens with what the What you can't even impact? do, girl. Let's keep this thing going. We'll see what the shock charge does to this guy. All right. Who the fuck thought here. of this? what it looks like when it hits the ground. And here's the guy that's just been hit with it. I looked at this carefully again and again to see if he slowed down like a stun grenade does. Oh, he did. I can't tell. It's he did. His visibility is hurt. Like it's clear. Grenade, but I don't know what else is going on. And the shocks that go around. Um, he dies. Stun that's what happens. Does it do anything else aside from just flash him? It can't be sure from the trailer. He drops his controller. To find of what this new thing does. Next, you're going to see the M801 select fire shoot in burst fire mode. So you can watch it go. Now, I don't know if you heard that, but I just heard a three-shot burst, but I saw four bullets drop. That time I heard a two-shot burst and saw four bullets drop. I think we're just dealing with sound that's not quite finished yet. Yeah, So the last thing we'll do before we move on is we'll take a look at the kill streaks and the sequence. That bottom one, airstrike, I'm assuming, that could also be a napalm based on Black Ops history, but I'm going to bet it's just an airstrike like a bomb drop. The middle one, the name for that is the Dragonfly. It's that Fire. helicopter we saw in the FPS Russia video a few months back. And then the top one is another helicopter, which I have to assume based on the fact that it's over the dragonfly, is some sort of man sitting in helicopter kill streak. Because Don't I, assume, I Woody. Think that, you know, the, the, the dragonfly is a controllable kill streak, and it's pretty powerful. I wouldn't pretty think powerful. that they would put like an automated helicopter, unless it's a pavlo of some sort, above it. So I'm going to bet that there is a I fucking wish it was a pavlo. Like we've seen in the last couple of Call of Duties. 
And one last thing to point out is it looks like it has a progress bar on earning these things like we've gotten used to, which I really like. I hate checking the scoreboard and trying to figure out how many points into my next kill streak I need to earn. <laughs> Morrow for two. Bar that lets you know if you're getting close to earning your cool stuff. All right, Here we go. So this is much good. to talk about. First of all, this looks like it's some kind of LMG. It's called the PD LMG MMS, and it's fully auto. But I'm going to call it an LMG because personal well, defense one, weapon, kind of submachine but the other gun. Fifty rounds in the clip, which is usually not, you know, like an assault rifle type thing. P90, the big thing 50 on bullets. this screen right now. Look in that gray crate in the middle of the screen. Just oh, I'm looking. The crosshairs. Do you see under the words? That is the outline of a human. Oh my figure. God, that's that a human is figure. Anti camper technique tactic tool that Treyarch <laughs> has been talking about all this time. Plot twist, people so, camp so with yeah. this site. And in a second here, when the screen gets moving again, you're going to see a guy come in from the right on that near crate, and you'll get a vibe, like you'll get a, a view for him coming, and you'll see through walls. So check this out. Now, I'm going to put this in super slow-mo, because what I'm trying super to demonstrate fucking is twister it looks slow -mo. like it's this reticle, this screen in front of us, that allows you to see through walls. So it's not like you'll be able to run around and hip fire people while seeing through walls all the time. If you see this guy come in from the right, he doesn't appear until he gets into like that square reticle view thing. Oh man, that's and how it works. In front of us also is in the square reticle view thing. I don't think you can see through walls unless you're aiming down sights with this tool on your gun. No fucking shit. Do you see that? Do you see that ghost to the right as he appears into the red? Ah! We'll watch it a little bit longer. He scared me. So there it is. That's what it looks like when you can see through walls. The little ghost is coming into sight and you can do your work. Other things to note on this screen. At the bottom, it looks like he's running a frag grenade nope. as well as a stun charge. Nope. I looked at it carefully. That stun charge is different than the shock charge nope. we saw at the start yes, of this video. But nope. So, of course, the we're going to have a couple options. In terms of kill streaks or point streaks in this game, we see the airstrike, we see the helicopter, and then that backwards end thing. I haven't been able backwards to make any sense end of. Thing. I blew what it up the to the fuck biggest is thing. that? In the middle of it, it kind of looks like a pair of shoes. I don't know what kind of looks with. like a pair uh, of shoes. Is it kill streak? Here and, and, you put some Nikes right on, run flags Shoot. faster. Yeah, what the fuck is that? All right, I don't know, I'll man. Put this next part in slow mo for you. Dolphin dives are back. Oh shit! That was sick. All right, another quick pause. I like how the PDW out, doesn't sound anything like that. Scope in smoke as compared to through walls. You can see, can't see this guy at all, but uh, this is what it looks like when you see a guy in a smoky spot. All right, first off, it definitely caught my attention that this class is called Runs for Funs and Guns. Meanwhile, the guy's got an LMG. This class it's sucks never ass. a run and gun class. You can see the thing has 100 clips, and if you just look at it in the top, it looks all LMGE. So, uh, I don't know. Basically, LMGs suck in every Call of Duty since the beginning of man. <laughs> no, not this one. The L86 with the thermal doesn't suck. But by and large, there's not much fun to be had with them. So, I don't know. Are they trying to make a change here? We'll see. But They uh, made a change. He's running with an LMG. Another thing I noticed, he has two perks. He has two perks. And it looks like huh, what he did he put count? on two attachments on his primary and gave up a perk. I don't know. That's interesting. But yeah, it totally combines with the whole you can have ten things, make your own combo of perks and weapons and attachments and such. Again, to get to ten things, you have to count the what looks like maybe a stun grenade or a flash grenade. It's it's not the uh, shock grenade in the bottom right. He's carrying two of them. So that that EMPs, baby. I also noticed he has two attachments on his primary weapon. Uh, one is the reticle. You can see it, you know, of course, uh, up and large in the bottom center. Sight frame, sucks dick. But there's a little reticle icon for it under the gun. And the other thing looks like a bullet. So I interpret that to be some sort of deep impact, you know, yeah, get him, Woody. damage modifier for that weapon. At the right center of your screen, above his stun grenade or flash grenade, you see a circle thing there. You also see it at the bottom of the screen under the 400. That, to me, looks a lot like a bouncing Betty, right? And it's also, it's in Two the in a row, baby. that a lethal grenade cool. would be. So, or a tomahawk for that matter. So, yeah, I think that we're going to see something similar to bouncing Bettys in this game. And the last thing to look at is the kill streaks. Up top, of course, we have the claw, which is that tank Just, with speed nope, thing. Not the right middle at all. One, I can't make heads or the tails. The middle one's the claw, buddy. As far buddy. as I can tell, we're going to have I don't know who the fuck called it the claw the first with. time, but and then the bottom one we're about to see. Oh yeah, so the bottom one's rolling. fun. That's not an LSAT noise, but 
kind of messed up and they're moving extra slowly. And the way this guy's using it is probably the advised way to use it, which is to set this thing up at a choke point and then kill noobs as they try to deal with it. Kill as noobs, far as baby. it out, I can only guess that it's like taking out everything else. It's about as hard to take out a SAM turret as it is a sentry gun, as it is a, you know, a operated sentry gun. There's two different kinds of Modern Warfare 3. They're all roughly the same. So my prediction is you're going to have to go someplace out of its range, take it out, and then you'll finally be able to address the choke point again. So yeah, new kill streak. Oh, by the way, it looks like this kill streak is called the Guardian. Man. All right, again, we can never look guess at this that thing. It's the fly swatter. This guy chose three perks. You get 10 total, which has been really consistent throughout. Um, he has a secondary that is a launcher. And look in the bottom left. He's got a guy there. I wonder what that huh. is. Like, I haven't what the fuck? That who did, who the hell that nigga? Who is that? In the, uh, in the or in the oh, comments. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, looking at the kill streaks, we see the helicopter. There's no way the this dude is getting one streak Again, with this class. I'm not quite sure. Burst mode weapon, the Chicom Cobb Customized. CQB, come on. Let's take a look at this thing. So he just took down the dragon fire with bullets. And I'll tell you, that thing went down a whole lot easier than, say, an RC drone does in Modern Warfare 3. I wonder if he has an attachment or something that makes Y'all should see my face right now. was his fly swatter class, or if those things just drop that easily all the time. Maybe it's because he's something on land. I wanted to call out is it, it looks to me like this is team deathmatch. You can see at the bottom the guy's losing 19 to 22, and it says 75 points to win, which is very much in line with what we're used to seeing in team deathmatch. But I haven't figured out what that flag-looking thing is with the four blue lines and the two stars. oh that Does flag that looking some thing kind of momentum no Does it represent 19 to 22 in some no. way it's not intuitive to me i'm not quite sure but um but it's kind of cool oh and in the bottom right you can see when you get low on ammo it turns red which is a nice idea great idea next we'll take a quick look at what it's like to control the dragon fire and then i'll stop it on the last frame and point out something you may not have noticed oh i noticed it fucking noobs so that was pretty intuitive. You fly around, you shoot things till they die, makes cars blow up, etc. But look in the bottom right where it says recording and there's a timer. It says 35 seconds right there. Um, I interpret that to mean that they have finally fixed theater mode. I don't nope. know if you guys noticed, but in Black Ops 1, the first Black Ops, when you put it into theater mode, it didn't record any of your killstreak stuff. I don't yep. think it showed you flying around in the helicopter, but it yep. absolutely it did, did show you, like, say, placing a napalm strike. You just kind nope. of did nothing for it. It didn't. Bit. It looks to me like they've done some work on looks to you. mode, and now they have that working nicely with kill streaks. Eh, no, you're wrong, but it's okay. Damn, that was like an Here insta shot. It looks like the new stinger is called the HIJ-18AA. I eh, assume close AA enough. stands for anti-aircraft, but um, I hardly care about what the guns are modeled after. I hardly care about what they look like. I really care about how they behave. And this looks a lot like a stinger to me. We saw oh, it looks it looks on, a lot. It might it not be rounds, a stinger. So I'm going to interpret but that to mean that it looks know, a lot like one. one round to take out. Some might even take 3 and you'll just do a significant part of it yourself. All right, new reticle. Looks like it's going to suck. <laughs> Holy tunnel vision. I don't know if I'll ever use this thing. But yep. we do have a Neither will anyone else. Like Nobody will ever use the target finder. To win, and then on the left there, there was a, oh, there's a bird. You know what? I bet that thing <gasps> is your personal player. Rank. Holy that's shit. My on this thing. Sorry no, Sorry for not wrong. getting it right before, but I you think didn't that's going to be your right personal now. player rank, and no. it's not related to the game. Eh. On the right side, the bottom one's got to be UAV. You know why? Because that top eh. thing, it looks like maybe a gun Man, with a silencer. Man, really, on really close. We're talking about silencer? Right. No, that's a noob tube, bro. We've seen that as the bottom kill streak on other class. Yeah. Levels. So it can't be that high. So I think the bottom one is going to be a UAV. The oh, one looks counter like UAV. Some sort so of close. Missile. And then the top no, one, I don't not know, right. a gun attachment maybe. Maybe that's still not right. your see-through vision. I'm not exactly no, sure. No, just but, not uh, even. You're, you're thing play cold, on. Cool cold, up. freezing. All right. I want to watch that again. A it's scorpion and detail. posting up a riot shield. This guy is a time. fucking retard. The first couple times I saw this, I interpreted it to be a little bit like Gears of War, where you plant the shield and then you shoot over top of it. But after looking at it more closely, you can see it's different. He plants the shield and then he crouches down and shoots through a window. He's head glitching in this little shield. It's really powerful. I can only assume that it doesn't do very much to protect you from nades. And it's a little bit like camping anywhere else. You know, you're 
you're kind of good from the right angle, but if they <laughs> if they strafe you, if they um, flank you on your sides, or if they take you out with a nade, then you're in a whole lot of trouble. Flat jacket. All right, next you're going to see care packages are back. So I know oh, he cool, work there anymore. Dude. I know that he's moved on to greener pastures, but let's all do one collective FUJD 2020 just for kicks. What the fuck does JD2020 have to do with anything? I'll just do a quick pause to say these rounds look different to me than the Dragonfly rounds did. The Dragonfly rounds look Dragon fire. to what shoots out of your assault rifle, and these look more comparable to what shoots out of your chopper gunner, which is to say they are explosive rounds that have splash damage and all that other fun stuff. Whoa, 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 are you seeing this? Look at this class name. Mostly use me blade. <laughs> it's oh, pretty cool. Whoa. You can see this guy has maxed out with six perks. He's this guy is not coming to have a primary halfway weapon, to his no EMP. Primary weapon attachments. He has a pistol in there, and then he has three like person character things at the Who bottom of his guys? class layout. And again, I don't know what those things are. I don't know how they improve your character, but um, you can see the guy's rocking a knife, and he's he's going to go in here and do his work in a minute here. Last time there was two perks on both sides with that. I just can't make that. Now look that. what happened here. The character has put he his cut me off away 40. and decided to run around knife only. I have to assume this gives him a knife advantage over people who maybe pull it out. Well, if I you can knife in this game. If you still have the knife instantly available at the press of a button like you have in It's previous like borderline impossible, Woody, but you that's know, okay. Now you can either you know panic press the right thumbstick or press B, or if you have a scuff controller, back paddle. Um, it looks like... He took out his knife in preparation for a knife. The end of panic knifing as we know it, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. I it's don't know. A mainstay in Call what of Duty. you can't do, girl. It is a knife only mode. I have to imagine that, like tack knife, it gives you some sort of advantage over people who are just panic knifing. The oh! is back, baby. I looked. You can carry Rage. two of things. Of course, they take two of your ten slots, but you can carry two. The same is true. Why the fuck with would C4s. you ever want two tomahawks? Uh, there's been this debate. You know, should there be one C4? Should there be two? Is a little weak without two. And um, the answer is, you can carry two of them if you're willing to give up two of your slots for C4s. Eh, more like four of your slots. Tomahawks. Or is it three slots? I don't fucking know. A bolt action sniper rifle. You want to see that oh. in slow mode? Not really, but you're going to show it to me. Brave plan. Now, by paying attention to David Vondahar's Twitter account, the lead developer over at Treyarch, it looks like they're leaning towards a balance in terms of quick scoping. I think everybody doesn't really like getting quick scopes, but everybody likes getting quick scopes. And what they're going to do is maybe not have auto aim in the first one <laughs> second of popping on the guy. Tell so it's thunder. really skill based. But then after that, the auto aim will sort of suck in. So it won't be like Black Ops started, which is to say it was like intentionally screw up your aim. But it's also not going to suck you right on to target like, say, Modern Warfare 2 did. There's going to be a balance in between. It's going to be really skill based. It'll be hard to quick scope compared to uh, where it was in some of the previous scope. CODs. Yeah. Now check out this gun, the Ballista. It kind the of reminds ballista. me of World at War Sniper. Kind rifle. of reminds like it's you. It's bolt huh? action, it's one shot kill, but it's not tunnel vision scope. It's pretty cool. Watch it go. Oh, fake triple. Nice. Now I think what you're about to see is the new animation for calling in, say, the automatic attack helicopter, nope. a UAV, nope. advanced UAV, nope. things like that. This nope. is what it's going to look like when you call that nope. stuff in. Nope, it's not going to look like this. This is going to be you putting down baggy ass now, attack what insertions. What you're about to see looks like the next uh, fully auto shotgun. It, it's going to be like the AA-12, but it shoots a whole lot faster. The other thing that I found really interesting is this laser sight. Do you see the laser coming out of the front of the gun? Lasers. Now, we're about to hit fire, so we don't really know what impact it's going to have on the other guy. <laughs> we really don't know what kind of impact is. Battlefield the laser isn't so going to have any like impact really good on the hip fire. Really, sure, but it's interesting really good running cool. out of the shotgun. Let's watch this the guy shoot in full auto mode. Oh, another thing, by the way. Oh, another looking thing. Looking at the perks in the top right on the screen in that little, um, you know, class layout thing it looks like there still are tiers to the perks that you can't just put any perk in any slot oh you know, man whatever zero and six of your favorite perks it looks like you know the only certain blue ones can go in the top one red and and there are tiers of perks just like there were before it's not a total free-for-all where you can make any combination it's not cod ghost a great thing because the more combinations you add the more difficult it is to balance cod ghost call of duty so there's some restrictions on there ghost 
Man, that's a miracle. C4 is back. And like I mentioned before, it looks Fuck like you can C4. have two C4s, but it takes up two out of your ten slots. Eh, you more than that, two. It's up to you. Do you I don't think feel like doing the math. second C4 is more valuable than another perk? I don't know. We'll see as the game comes out. Coming Man, up next is a this thing looks swarm of drones where one of them. Oh, it's a swarm like a of drones! It's hard to tell too, I get too much it. from just this little glimpse in the trailer, but it looks like there's almost no defense. Like if someone gets one of these things, you're doomed. What b I don't know blind eye. These like predator drone things, you actually launch to the ground because if it's all gabillion that you see flying, <laughs> gabillion, be pretty dangerous. Not even kajillion. Look out! Look out! Of this team death match. Oh yeah, dude. And finally, a whole new game mode. Multi-team team deathmatch. And they're putting it in a competitive environment. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, they're really GTM, making it competitive. In Call of Duty in a competitive environment, previously it was always the most boring thing you'll ever want to find. You get up by a kill or two, then you hide in the weeds until somebody walks by you, then you're up by two or three kills, and it just continues like that forever. Multi-team team deathmatch might be the thing that makes competitive TDM interesting again who knows but nope uh, yeah i know oh, actually. by the way i think this also shows us support for competitive call of duty that we're not used to seeing yep and that vanished oh this is so fucking hype boys So, if somehow you are still here, I hope I've earned your like. I went for the most complete multiplayer trailer analysis on YouTube. I hope that I hit that mark. Uh, two videos you may I'd have give them like 17% chance. Or percentage right of Monday. most complete. If you're new around complete. here, blue box 17%. Right, no higher than that. And have a good day. I'm having a great day, Woody.